The jury has reached a verdict in the Darun Ravi case. This is the case involving uh, an a 20 year old Rutgers student who uh, was spying via webcam on his gay roommate when his roommate had another male over uh, for a sexual encounter. And he tweeted uh, that the sexual encounter was happening so other people could also watch. Uh, and he also had uh, Molly Way, another student, watching with him in another room. Now, the verdict has been reached, and it's a mixed verdict. Uh, so far, he has been, um, they have found him guilty of invasion of privacy. <coughs> he could face 10 years in prison, and he could be deported back to India as a result of this. He's actually a student here, uh, he's on student visa. Oh, okay. okay. I didn't know that. Yeah, I didn't know that until uh, <laughs> recently. So people are now asking, you know, is this, is this fair? Did they reach the correct verdict? Go. Look, when I'm looking at the evidence, at first I immediately thought, okay, <coughs> bias intimidation in this case might make sense. Because bias intimidation means that he uh, tried to instill fear in Tyler Clementi because he's gay, right? And it seemed like uh, Darun Ravi definitely had something against gay individuals. Back when he was in high school, uh, a year before he was about to go to college, he had already figured out who he was going to be roommates with. And he had told a friend, my roommate is gay, fuck my life. Right? So there's a couple instances. But at the same time, he's an ignorant high schooler who hasn't dealt with gays at all. <coughs> uh, is he just making an immature statement? Does that mean that he's really homophobic? Who knows, right? But what's really interesting is, after he uh, filmed his roommate having sex, uh, his roommate wanted to move to another dorm room. And uh, Darun Ravi basically wrote to him, I've known you were gay and I have no problem with it. Mm -hmm. So there are a lot of mixed messages when it comes to whether or not he's homophobic, right? But given all of that, look, he faces 10 years in prison and mm -hmm. he could be deported back to India. That's pretty significant. Yeah. Now on the other hand, the kid died. That's also pretty significant. Definitely. On the other hand, the kid committed suicide. Uh, you know, uh, Darun didn't push him off the bridge. That's okay. And that's a very important distinction because I don't want people to get over emotional about this case and immediately say like, oh, a person died because of this. Look, you're right. Tyler Clementi, you know, I feel horrible about what he did, but he made that decision, okay? So Darun Ravi is not being tried for murder or manslaughter or anything like that. He's being tried for the things that I mentioned. And invasion of privacy is definitely something that he's guilty of. Now, his defense in the case was that uh, he did not trust the man that was coming to their dorm room. So he put a camera there to make sure that the guy wasn't stealing anything from their dorm room. Yeah, uh, that I don't believe at all. Me either. Yep. Okay, so here are some things that are clear. First of all, the fact that he was streaming it, he was giggling about it with some uh, other student there. Uh, to me indicates clearly he knew exactly what he was doing and it was not to catch some sort of thief or anything like that. It's a weak sauce excuse. Uh, second of all, uh, did he invade uh, Tyler Clemente's privacy? Of course, of course he did. No question about that. Now, as to the more serious charges, that's a really good question. As to whether he should get 10 years, that's a really good question. And 10 years seems like an awfully long time in jail. Um, like, I, I kind of look at it as what would I have given him if the kid had not committed suicide, right? Because him committing suicide, I, I don't, that's a decision that that person made. Now, of course, it was, you know, brought on to s some degree by this horrible, embarrassing situation. But, you know, and I think if he hadn't committed suicide, based on the act that Darun Ravi himself took, and the reasonable expectations that he could have from that act, which is a gross, gross violation of this guy's rights, of Tyler Clemente's rights, I'd say, you know, maybe uh, to send a message a year, two years in prison, but 10 years is, is I, yeah, really long. I always get really uncomfortable when we try to figure out what kind of sentence makes the most sense because I feel like I'm too ignorant on the issue to like say, oh no, it's gonna be five years. I don't know, right? Uh, all I know is he faces 10 years. Who knows if he's gonna get that entire sentence? But you know, the thing that's interesting is he, 
it's not like it was this one incident, right? You you kind of look into the case and you look at certain things that he's he's done, things that he's tweeted about Tyler Clementi. You can tell that even though he claimed he wasn't uncomfortable with Tyler Clementi being gay, he actually was. You know, it, for him it was kind of like a, a sideshow, like a circus freak. Like, oh my God, the guy is over again. Everybody watch. You know, like he's telling his friends through Twitter. No, no, no and, question about that. So I'm not even having that conversation. So, uh, you know, the question is, should how much, if any, prison time should you serve for that? Uh, Supreme Court time, obviously. And I feel bad doing a Supreme Court on a serious issue. And obviously, as Anna said, you'd have to be on the jury. You'd have to be the judge there. We don't really know. We're obviously wildly guessing here at what is, quote unquote, right. But so our opinion on it, JR. Well, I mean, like you said, he's facing 10. He's probably not going to get it. But um, I say seven. Let me tell you why. Because, as you said, the guy did himself, which I don't really, I don't put much clout behind that. He he put sent him on that spiral towards that, and as you said, it's similar like with manslaughter or something like that. If you go out and decide to go drunk driving, you're not trying to kill somebody, but if you do, you're going to get a manslaughter charge. You killed someone. What he did led to this guy's death in whatever way it was, even if it was his choice. But it's something that led to that. It should be that serious. It, it should be close to uh, to the top as as he can because. And we're talking about sending a message. A year is not going to send any messages for people who think nothing's going to happen to them because kids think nothing's going to happen to them. Let's just make fun of the guy. Who cares? It's okay. That's right. fine. Uh, it appears uh, JR and, and, and Anna are on the higher end of this scale. And I think everybody good to, puts a good point, but no. You're right. Um, but I, I think I fall in the middle because, like JR said, it's a lot more serious than it's he's being charged for, like what he's being obviously convicted of, he's going to get that time, but I think it's two, 10 years is way too much, and I think one in two years is too little, so I would say five years. Anna, what's Sorry, your Dave. official years on this? I, like I don't know. Sure. I feel really strange g giving years to it, but I, I like uh, how moderate Jesus is, so I'll go with five years, but take that with a grain of salt, because I don't know anything. All you right. know what I mean? uh, luckily, we don't get to actually decide this case. I hope, of course, that the judge, jury, etc., takes this a lot more seriously because it is a very serious case. I don't want you to be misled on that.